Turbo Machinery Belt and Wheel What is Belt and Wheel? Belt and Wheel or Belt and Turbine is a tangential flow impulse turbine in which the pressure energy of, energy of water is converted into kinetic energy to form high-speed water jet. This jet strikes the wheel tangentially to make it rotate. As you could see here, we have a wheel here and this wheel will move when the water jet from here hit the bucket here. So this is the basic idea or the basic mechanism of belt and wheel. Who invented belt and wheel? Belt and wheel is an impulse type water turbine invented by Lester Allen Pelton in the 1870s. The Pelton wheel extract energy from the impulse of moving water as opposed to waters that weigh like the traditional overshot water wheel. Many earlier variations of impulse turbine existed but they were less efficient than Pelton's design. Water leaving those wheels typically still had high speed carrying away much of the dynamic energy brought to the wheels. Pelton's pedal geometry was designed so that when the rim ran at half the speed of the water jet, the water left the wheel with very little speed, thus his design extracted almost all the water's impulse energy which allowed for a very efficient turbine. So this is the example of water wheel that previously, previously used uh, before the invention of belt and wheel. So we have uh, a few variation of water wheel here. So we have a stream wheel where the water flow is under the wheel like this. We also have undershot water when the water flows below the center point here. We have breast shot water wheel when the water is almost at the center of the wheel here. So we have overshot water wheel and we have backshot water wheel. And backshot water wheel here will create this wheel rotate at the, at the reverse direction like this. So this is the important parts of water wheel. One is nozzle, nozzle and spear. So this is the nozzle where the water jet um, flow here and the spears inside the water jet and runner and bucket so this is runner and this is a bucket that will receive the water jet impact braking jet so braking jet will be located here and its function to break the rotation of the wheel and lastly is the casing so this is the casing of water wheel because to prevent the water split over the place and so on. Nozzle and spear. The water from source is transferred through penstock to which end a nozzle is provided. Using this nozzle, the high speed water jet can be formed. To control the water jet from nozzle, a movable needle spear is arranged inside the nozzle. The spear will move backward and forward in axial direction. When it moves forward, the flow will reduce and stop. And when it moves backward like this, the flow will increase. Runner and bucket. A Pelton turbine consists of a runner which is a circular disc on the periphery of which a number of buckets are mounted with equal spacing with, between them, as you could see in this picture. The bucket mounted are either double hemispherical or double ellipsoidal shape. A, di a dividing wall called splitter is provided for each bucket, which separate the bucket into two equal parts. The bucket are generally made of cast iron or stainless steel or bronze depending upon the head of inlet of Pelton wheel.
Each bucket is divided vertically into two parts by a splitter. So this is splitter. It will divide this bucket into two parts. The splitter is a sharp edge at the center giving the shape of a double hemispherical cup. The splitter is sharpened to ensure a loss-free entry of the water jet into the bucket. It is also helping the water jet to be divided without shock into two parts moving sideways in opposite directions. The water jet is deflected by the bucket at about 160 degrees. The shape of the bucket also carefully designed to make sure the path of the jet is not obstructed by the incoming bucket. As you could see here, this is the a part of the bucket, so we have a splitter here, and the water jet will hit at the middle of this splitter and divide the water jet into two parts. So this is the uh, example of real Pelton wheel used in the hydro turbine. So the water jet will hit here, will come here and hit the bucket. The runner here will rotate at certain speed and this shaft will rotate the generator and the generator will give electricity. Braking jet. Braking jet is used to stop the running wheel when it is not working. This situation arises when the nozzle inlet is closed with the help of sphere, then the water jet is stopped on the bucket. But due to inertia, the runner will not stop revolving even after complete closure of inlet nozzle. To stop this, a brake nozzle is provided as shown below. So this is the brake nozzle. The brake nozzle direct the jet of water on the back of bucket to stop the wheel. The jet directed by brake nozzle is called braking jet. If you could see here, the water jet will strike this direction and the wheel will rotate counterclockwise like this. However, when we stop the jet here, the wheel is still rotating. To stop this wheel faster, we flow a water at the reverse direction here to help the water wheel to help the Pelton wheel here stop. Casing. The whole arrangement of runner and buckets, inlet and braking jet are covered by the casing. Casing of Pelton wheel does not perform any hydraulic action but prevents the splashing of water while working and also helps the water to discharge to the tail race. If you could see here or the previous picture of Pelton wheel, we could see that this Pelton wheel is work at atmospheric pressure. So it means the casing here is not so important because the pressure is atmospheric pressure. If we compare with the Francis turbine, Francis turbine need proper casing because improper casing of Francis turbine will give lacking of pressure because Francis turbine not work at atmospheric pressure. However, due to the safety and other reason or to make sure that water will flow to the tail race completely so we build a casing for the Pelton wheel. So this is another example of Pelton wheel in hydroelectric plants so sometimes it could be designed as bigger as this picture. As you could see that it is not covered 100% of the Pelton wheel here, a part of Pelton wheel is still open. The working of Pelton wheel. The water is transferred from the high head source through a long conduit called penstock. Nozzle arrangement at the end of penstock helps the water to accelerate and it flows out as a high speed jet with high velocity and discharge at atmospheric pressure. The jet will hit the splitter on the bucket which will distribute the jet into two halves of bucket and they will start revolving. 
the kinetic energy of the jet is reduced when it hits the bucket and also due to spherical shape of bucket, the directed jet will change its direction and takes U-turn and falls into tail race. In general, the inlet angle of jet is in between 1 to 3 degrees. After hitting the bucket, the deflected jet angle is in between 165 to 170 degrees. The water collected in tail race should not submerge the Pelton wheel in any case. To generate more water, two Pelton wheel can be arranged to a single shaft or two water jet can be directed at a time to a single Pelton wheel. So this is the picture how Pelton wheel works. It can be installed vertically or horizontally. In this case, the Pelton wheel is installed horizontally. This is the water jet. So the water jet will hit bucket here and after hitting the bucket, the runner will rotate at certain speed and at the same time, it will rotate the shaft here that could generate the power. And then the bucket here, the design of this bucket must make sure that the water that comes out from the blades here, from the bucket here, will not interrupt the incoming water jet here. So this is another uh, diagram of jet and buckets. The jet will hit the splitter of the bucket, which will distribute the jet into two halves of bucket and the wheel starts revolving as shown in the picture. So this is an example of Pelton wheel with two nozzle. So if you could see here, we could install it vertically like this. So we could install the, uh, what, the jet here, the water jet here, the nozzle like this. And this is the spear to control the flow rate. So if you see the arrangement here, you could found that the water jet number one at the bottom here will hit bucket and the water will fall down like this. Then the water jet number two here at nozzle number two here will hit the bucket and then the water will fa fall down like this through this uh, nozzle. So means that the water that fall down after hitting the bucket will not interrupt to each other. So it, this is the real setup of Pelton wheel in a hydroelectric plant. And this is the Pelton wheel uh, in, installed in horizontal uh, type. So we could see that the nozzle is one, two, three, four, five nozzle were installed in these pictures because it need to increase the power of the Pelton wheel here. So if you, in, if you install more than two nozzles, normally engineer will install horizontally because to make sure that when water hit the bucket, the water will fall down without interrupting each other. So this is uh, another uh, diagram of Pelton wheel for your uh, perusal.